Hello everyone. Have you ever thought of creating a front-end application in React with a WordPress headless but didn't know where to begin from? Well, Frontity's 2019 theme is the solution. Frontity's 2019 theme is built using Frontity's framework. But why should I use Frontity's 2019 theme? I do have several other options available. Can I not create one on my own? Well, yes, you can. In fact, using WordPress and React has many advantages. However, there are a lot of things that developers need to learn and configure. Well, Frontity makes it super simple. Frontity makes using WordPress as a headless CMS super simple and super easy. All you have to do is just install a couple of packages and just put your site settings and it's ready to go. That's how simple it is. You can give your users seamless experience because they don't have to wait to load the page when they want to go to the next one. If you're already using the WordPress 2019 theme, then this theme is going to give you similar look and feel, but it's going to be blazing fast. Well, Frontity offers you many features. It offers you zero development setup, lightning fast loading, instant in-app navigation, and many more. You can check out the introduction video of Frontity, which talks about many features that Frontity offers you. Well, wait a minute. Can I customize it as well? Well, sure you can. Well, the best part about Frontity is that it's got a very active and helpful community. So if you have any questions, if you need some help, if you're stuck somewhere, you can always ask questions. Great. So let's dive in. Okay guys, so let's learn how to install and set up Frontity's 2019 theme. Now, there are several ways to do it, just a couple of ways. Uh, first, if you've never used Frontity framework before, and this is the first time, then you can install the project and then install the theme. Second, if you already have a Frontity existing project, okay, then you can just uh, install this package from the NPM by doing npm install and then the package name okay so let's do it the first way wherein let's say this is the first time you are setting up the front these framework so let's do that so there are different ways you can do it you can either follow the readme here or you can also go to the github repository so let's check this repository out so you can see this is a demo and then for new project just simple steps just three steps okay so you just need to clone it so let's go to your terminal, paste it, git clone, and this is going to be cloned over here. Okay, so you can see that it's cloned. All you have to do is just go inside of this package, Frontity 2019. And then once you go there, you just need to run this command, which is npm install npx Frontity dev. So what this will do basically, this will install all the packages and dependencies which is there in the package.json. So if you go back and check package.json, so you have certain dependencies like Frontity Core, HTML2 React, all of these. It's just going to install that and it's also going to install the package which is uh, 2019 theme, okay? So once it is installed, then uh, it's going to run the second command. That's why we're running the two commands together, which is npx Frontity dev and it's going to start your development server at localhost 3000. So whenever you make any changes, uh, you have got category. So you have nature as category, then you have travel as category, and then you also have tags, and then you also have pages. This is your site name. You also have single pages, and you can also go to single posts. So this is my single post, okay? You have the author name, the date when this post was written, your WordPress pages, page is also being displayed over here. So currently it's using the test.frentity.io to fetch all of the data from the WordPress. Uh, if you want to change this to yours, you can do that. So there are two places you need to change it. The first one is here in the state URL. This is the place where you will put your own URL. So for example, if my URL was like coreytech.com, so I'm going to put my URL here. I can change the title also over here You can probably say my new site and you can also change the description and say this is description okay and so this is going to be for your site and uh, if you scroll down uh, over here where it says source api this is the api that is responsible for fetching the data from your wordpress 
site okay so all you have to do is just change it to your site at this point so let's say your site was coreytech.com you'll just put that there and let this wpjson stay the same okay i'm going to change this back to the normal one let's go back and check okay you can see this is description the title has changed the site title has changed as well okay uh, and if you want to go ahead and change the pages you can do that so you can change this to my home so this is basically the menu on top so now if I refresh this is my home now okay you can put categories you can change the category also and again these are tags you can add other pages as well so you can say new page okay and then you can put the URL for that page so if I go and refresh now you can see now we have a new page as well okay perfect okay so let me show you the code base we're gonna go back to our uh, github repository project which was frontier 2019 inside of this we have this package available right here and you have the index.js where we are importing the image the theme from the components so all of that information here okay and then we are exporting the 2019 theme and uh, if you go to components we have the main index.js this is the place where we are importing react we are importing global for CSS then connect uh, then head over here we are importing header so header is right here this is header okay and then we are importing post from the post component which is which is this one okay and then we have we are also importing 404 page in case if the uh, data is not found uh, then we are importing loading so you if you check if you click on one of these so currently it's it's already has the data but when the data uh, takes time to load you have a loader over here so that's coming from here then you have a footer that's coming from the footer.js which is right here okay and then you have the global style so we have style.main.js that's the style that's being used okay this one you can write your own style uh, in the style.css as well and later on you know you can minify it into style.min.css and use it here okay so we have a theme component uh, inside of which we are passing the state and state is the object which contains all of the data if you check in console you and if you type front t dot state you will see all of the data inside of this so you have the url you have the description uh, packages that is that are being used then you have router for routing okay which we are currently on tag japan that's why inside of link you have this tag japan and then inside of source you have the api which is being used uh, you have attachments for images you have author details you have category details uh, you have the data then you also have the page information uh, different posts that are being listed over here. So all of the data is available inside of the frontity.state. Okay, and then you have the theme information available. Yeah, this data that we set to true, it, that information is available here. Uh, what items are available in menu? So we have home, nature, travel, Japan, about all of this information being shown over here. So this is pretty handy. You can use it. And that state is being passed over here, and we are trying to get the uh, link. So you can see that state.router.link. So state.router.link. So this is the link that we are trying to get. So we're trying to get the data from that. Then we have the head section. It's the head component which has the title. So it's getting the title from here. So state.frontity.title. State.frontity.title. So this is the title that's being displayed here. Then the description is coming from state.frontity.description, which is here and then you have the language attribute so this is done with 
we are done with the head section then you have global styles available so we are passing the global style that we're importing from here then this is the body and it's got the ID of content and uh, if it's still fetching if the fetching value is true then show the loader if it's an archive page then show the list component if it's a post then show post if it's 404 page then if the data contains 404 then it's 404 page that's being displayed over here okay and then we are just uh, exporting this theme right here okay so then if you go to list so list.js is basically going to loop through all the items of the post you can see that it's being looped through over here okay and the list item is going to be a single list item okay you can see it's the article which says post entry and that's right here and then we have several articles inside of this okay so inside of the article you have the entry title you have the title which we are getting using item.title.rendered from the WordPress REST API and then we are getting the featured uh, featured media using the featured media component okay and then you have the author details which is right here this is the author then you have the posted on information which is this one then you have the categories being displayed which is right here and then you have the tags being displayed over here as well okay and then we are using the style components of using emotion basically uh, so it's CSS and JS so it's a mix of it basically because we didn't want to write the CSS for 2019 all over again so we've used the uh, styles of the 2019 theme and then wherever we wanted to customize we have customized that as well we've used CSS and JS for that so this theme is built using the mouse starter theme and it has been really easy for us to build this theme because Mars theme already provides us all of the startup that we need we just need to uh, go ahead and customize according to the needs and requirements okay so if you want to build your own theme using frontier framework it's super simple just pick up the mouse theme and you can customize it great so i hope guys you did like the video and the theme as well uh, and if you did like it please give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can leave it on the comment you can ask on the front to this community as well you can go on over here on the frontity.org and you can go to the communities page you can sign up as well as you can ask any questions that you have uh, this site is live on the 2019 frontity.org so you can check out the, the site over here okay awesome guys so i will see you next thank you very much bye bye